Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So I had a few questions from a beginner scrapper about power tools. Do I pick them up while scrapping? Are they worth opening up and separating the metals? Where do I most commonly find them? So I want to answer those questions in this video. I do have behind me a nice pile of power tools that I've actually found at various places, uh, job sites, as well as house garbage pickup. And they are an excellent source of scrap material. I have a circular saw, a drill, a reciprocating saw, a grinder, and I could actually bring them in as is and get electronic weight price. It's about six to seven cents a pound, which is better than nothing, but there are some goodies inside of them and they are easy to open. So I'm gonna do that for this video here, show you what's inside, show you how to identify the material, separate it properly, and help you maximize your profit, while more importantly, diverting as much of this away from the landfill and also helping you decide if it's worth opening or not. So I'm gonna start here just looking at the drill. I have, for the sake of time, gone ahead and removed all of the exterior um, uh, screws. You can see right there on my magnet. These I'm just gonna throw right into my tin pile, get eight to 10 cents a pound for these. So that's better than nothing for sure. And I do wanna mention that some of these screws I did have to use a type of set like this. This is called an L key security set. This just has the little um, circular pattern inside. It's meant for your screws that have the little nub inside. Manufacturers put those on to keep people out for safety reasons. Use these a lot, for example, for microwaves and I commonly use them while scrapping. Um, so that was good. There are a lot of other bolts on here that I did have to just use regular screwdriver sets, but these are always a good piece to have in my scrapping arsenal. Um, and just going to start with the drill here. I did remove, as mentioned, the plastic, so this is going to be garbage. But inside of it, here you go, nice little motor. And the nice thing about this as well is this is going to be just as is, going to be higher value than appliance or electronic weight price. You can see here, this entire thing is magnetic. So this is what I, I would actually just throw right into my tin after I remove the goodies. Um, again, the only thing that is going to be lost is this plastic. Um, it is heavy. It does depend on where you live. Some places will recycle it. Here, unfortunately, they will not accept it, so it is gonna be garbage. But right here, have a nice little copper bearing motor here. I'm gonna take this copper bearing motor off, put it into my little copper bearing motor pile. I get 25 cents to 30 cents a pound for these. So uh, it is, it does add up for sure. It does have a little bit of brass prongs on it there that I'm just gonna pull off, put into my brass. Brass right now going for $3.39 a pound, so a great price for sure. And these little type of motors like this, I don't bother opening up and taking out the little armature. Uh, there is some metal on the top, a casing that I have to crack open. Not worth my time, so again, get the 25 to 30 cents a pound for that. It does also have a small piece right here of zinc cast that I have as well as a small little MOSFET here. This connector here that you see on here that's attached by the screw, that is actually number two copper once I remove that screw. So I'm actually gonna get three or sorry, $5.39 a pound right now for number two copper. So great item for sure. Wanna make sure I get that off, but just gotta unscrew this MOSFET here, it is connected to a small piece of zinc cast. So just gonna take that off there. Okay, so zinc cast in my hand that I have here, gonna go for 45 cents a pound. A lot of your outer parts to motors, um, those casings are zinc cast. You do have to be careful, they usually have a small um, washer inside that is gonna be tin. So you have to make sure you take that out or you're gonna get downgraded to dirty zinc cast. But right there, my little MOSFET here, gonna cut that off, as well as all my wire in here. Gonna throw that into my 40% appliance wire. And currently right now, this is paying $1.90 a pound, okay? This drill, I also wanna mention, was battery operated. The ones that have the cord, like this you see on my uh, circular saw here, this cord is also gonna be 40% appliance wire. $1.90 a pound for this, so an excellent price. This one, because it is battery operated, I do wanna take the opportunity to mention that all of your lithium or ion batteries like this, lithium or ion batteries that are plugged into any type of battery operated uh, drill or uh, power tool, 
Unfortunately, there is no monetary value here in southwestern Ontario for these. They will take them at scrapyards free of charge, recycle them properly, but they will not give you any monetary value. Um, so you do want to make sure, though, you do drop them off at recyclable uh, depots, battery uh, depots, because we want to keep these out of the landfill. Um, different than your household batteries, getting for 10 cents a pound your A's, C's, B's, household ones from different appliance and electronics. So you do want to make sure you keep them separated. I do have a full breakdown separation video on batteries, and I will include the link to that video in my description. But unfortunately, this is not going to have monetary value, but I will bring it in to get recycled, and it is free of charge. So that's good. Um, but if it did have the power cord, for sure, I want to make sure I pull that off. It does also have, last thing here, any type of your clicky button here. Inside of this case, I want to open this because there is going to be a small piece of silver in there. And I've actually just right here broken the case off of one of them. This is what it's going to look like. There's going to have a small little spool of number two copper. And it's also going to have a small little dot you see on top of that. That little smudge on there at the top is actually silver. And that, what makes this one interesting is that it actually has a brass lip to, or sorry, copper lip to it too. So I will pull that copper off, put it into my number two copper. This metallic color piece is gonna be uh, tin, so I do have to make sure I remove it. But a little bit of silver as well as number two copper. So all of your triggers um, will have them, contact boxes for sure. Great place to find free silver if you're into micro scrapping. But again, some nice goodies in here. Want to get that motor and that wire. So that is the drill, okay? Next thing I want to look at is actually my reciprocating saw. This one did actually have two pieces that came off of it. Again, had the plastic on it as well. Just gonna open this for you, show you what's inside. If I can remove, oh, there's one more screw, sorry. Just gotta remove the last screw. It is kind of warm in here today. We're going through a heat wave, so I apologize if I am sweating, but this reciprocating saw is also battery operated. You can find the ones with the cord, um, but um, again, the cords are definitely something you want to grab. Okay, but there it is. You can see inside this too is gonna have several different pieces to it. It's gonna have my small trigger that will also have the relay box in there. Inside here, just gonna pull that out. Here is an armature that I have. So this armature, again, does have on the top of it a community, a community, commute, commutator. Uh, sorry, that is the top of this. I was just told that from one of my viewers. I always call it just the, uh, the crown. Um, but this here armature, this does have a lot of glue to it as is. And I do have videos showing you how to open these for the number two copper, the stubborn ones, and I will also include the link to those. Some of them, if they are like this one, if I open this up, look at it, it will be very difficult to pull out that number two copper. I could actually just throw this right into my copper bearing motor pile as well, get the 25 to 30 cents a pound, uh, you know, as well. The nice thing about that is it will add the weight with the little shaft on there as well. So we'll get some nice money from that. And as well inside of here, there is also a little bit more steel. That did have a really nice ferrite magnet that connects the armature inside. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that in there. But there is right at the top, you can see those two uh, connectors that are going to the middle that hold that crown. Those are gonna be brass, so I am gonna pull those out. But the rest of this, if I put a magnet to it, you can see it is magnetic. So I'm just gonna throw it right into my tin. I don't have to remove this plastic piece off of here. Okay, the piece that has the cutting wheel to it, gonna just pull this out as well, show you what's inside. Gonna hit this out. There we go. So it has a small little sleeve to it. But here is a case inside this case. This case is actually going to be zinc cast as well. Unfortunately, if I put a magnet to it, there is magnetic attraction because the wheel here or the, the um, mechanism that goes up and down with the blade is magnetic. So I do have two options. I could actually just crack it with a hammer. There are two bolts right there that I am gonna take off and that will remove this uh, casing. Uh, so this whole shell will give me 
zinc cask price, 45 cents a pound for that. And the piece inside here that is gonna have some magnetic attraction will be dirty cast, so 10 to 15 cents for that. So that's nice, and this does have a nice weight to it. I will include in my uh, comment section full weight breakdowns, uh, prices as well, okay? But again, very simple to open one of these reciprocating saws. A lot of screws, but a lot of little pieces. And again, no cord. I wanna look at my grinder. This grinder I just wanted to quickly show you. This is my grinder I use. This one works no problem, it's a Mastercraft. Uh, it does have the nice cord on it, so not gonna disturb this one. But I did break one apart, and I do wanna mention that I had a DeWalt uh, grinder here. It was a pain to get the motor out. I actually got so frustrated with it. You can see I actually split it with my grinder, opened up the shell, okay? But here's a little bit of plastic that came off of it. The cord, again, this did have the cord, so you can see part of it right here. So $1.90 a pound for this cord. There is my trigger again that I have, and I will just actually, for the sake of this video, open this one up because this is gonna be just uh, for educational purposes, but um, I'm gonna make sure I get the right bolt. There we go. So this is actually just gonna undo the connectors. There is some brass connectors on here that I have. The screws, just wanna make sure I put off to the side. But nice thing about this is, again, you're gonna get lots of different free silver, lots of cord. I wanna get as much cord of this off as I can for $1.80 or $1.90 a pound. So there it is. And I also make sure, as when I look at this as well, my cord, I do actually cut off the tip of brass there. I will put that into brass. So it all adds up. Uh, I look long-term when it comes to prongs and different pieces like that. So I do have a nice big bucket that's saved up for those. But inside here again, just gonna hit this with a hammer, show you. Put some safety glasses on. to it so actually gonna just hold off on this one I should have actually looked before I did it but see if I can pop the cover off hey okay, but again there is a connector cable to this there it is open it up no oh, I'm gonna have to undo the screws for that first so never mind just gonna leave it but I assure you just as mentioned there is gonna be a nice little spool in there I do have to open it up with the screws first but what I'm looking for in here is a very nice armature again. So there is my armature that came out of that. Notice the windings around it are green. They are once scratched. If I put a file to this, here we go. Just gonna look to see. There you go. So that is copper right there. So what I am gonna do is remove this armature out of here. I am gonna remove this copper and all I'm gonna do is actually just use my grinder make one incision down on both sides, turn it over, and I'm actually just gonna use leverage. I'm just gonna pull that out. So some really nice copper. This um, uh, um, grinder was definitely worth opening. It was worth my time, because I'm gonna get the number two copper for that, $5.39 a pound for it. Uh, so that is gonna be a nice weight. And the nice thing about this as well is this shell is still gonna go into my tin, so I'm getting 100% profit there as well, this armature here, gonna get the copper bearing motor price. So this was an interesting piece as well. Uh, it was definitely a pain. It also had the head on it that has the blade right there. I have removed it. Okay, so there is what it looked like connected. This is a, again, another piece of zinc cast. Does have a lot of oil on it and grease, so I will have to remove that um, just so it uh, doesn't make a mess in my car. This one here does have as well the inner piece to it. This is gonna be dirty zinc cast, okay? So still better than tin price, so I wanna make sure I throw that in there. Okay, and the last one I have is my circular saw. Just gonna wipe my hand here quickly. My circular saw has a beautiful, beautiful long cord. Again, $1.90 a pound for 40% appliance wire. Inside of it, just gonna quickly show you Took out the screws, the cap. Okay, here we go, the handle. 
just gonna pull that out. So the blade here does have, I gotta be careful with that. Sometimes you'll actually get blades that are still on there that are in beautiful working condition. So just gonna actually pull this one off here. Okay, but uh, has again, has some really nice pieces to it. But what I'm looking at here for sure, there is a beautiful heavy armature that I'm gonna pull out. So just wanna make sure I safely pull this, okay? But I'm gonna do that actually after. The case here is zinc cast as well, this cover, okay? I am gonna have to unscrew it. And the reason I don't wanna do a full breakdown on this is I actually have a full breakdown on a circular saw and I will include the link to that video uh, step by step. But again, very nice blade, doesn't look like it's been too worn. Really nice armature here. Just gonna try and pop it out. push there is again there's going to be a safety piece to this there is oh there it is underneath there's a couple bolts that i am going to have to take out but again really nice armature for sure inside here there is another motor so it does just have two uh bolts that i have to pull out but this is the outer winding that the armature comes into again some more number two copper inside of that this piece here is uh this is actually plastic but there is a nice piece of tin on there, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna pull out this last piece here. Whew, it is getting warm in here. Maybe it's from all my talking. So, there we go, just gonna pull that. Gonna get to it. Okay, but that is gonna be a very nice armature, inner winding cable that I'm gonna have to pull out. So there's a couple of little pieces of cuts that I have to do to get at it first, but it will slide out. And once I find the correct, not too small, just trying to find the right one. So again, too small. Okay, but I will get at this for sure once I pull at it start playing with it, it is tight in there. There we go. Needed a little bit of help. So there's one side, looking forward to pulling this out again. So get all that copper that you can, for sure. That is your money maker. So answering that question, are power tools worth opening and taking? Yes, they are. So there again, look at that nice big bolt there. I'm gonna put this side in. Go put this on. And hopefully, there we go. Pop this in, pop this out. Hopefully it's gonna just come out with a little bit of leverage. Okay, but again, circular saws, I do find them. Glad that this one was electric, giving me all that nice wire. Again, the rule, if, if they are battery operated, they still are too worth taking, but you're not gonna get the wire from it. If you do it also, you are gonna get some nice goodies from it. So, there we go, pulling that out. There it is, look at that. So, just cutting this wire. So I'm gonna make sure I get all this wire, it's connected through the handle. Just gotta cut the plastic again, but look at that beautiful copper wire there. So, number two copper. This is your scrapper's gold. Okay, lots of different armatures in here. I do have, as mentioned, so the drill, little copper bearing motor on here. The rest of this is gonna be tin, some brass, some silver. The uh, grinder I had, really nice armature as well. Some really nice number two copper. The, uh, what was this one? This would be a reciprocating saw. Again, another armature. Okay, some zinc cast. Lots of my appliance wire, okay? And very easy to take apart. So yes, I do open them up. I will say off camera, it took me about 30 minutes to do all four of them, getting all the screws, opening up all the plastic. Uh, and that is only because that reciprocating saw, or sorry, the uh, grinder was very, <laughs> very messy and a pain, but well worth it. So hope you enjoyed that again. Yes, power tools, great 
thing to pick up, very easy to take apart, as well finding them on job sites. I find them quite often there. So hope you enjoyed that. Thank you again for that question. Please continue the questions, comments. Love working with the scrapping community. As you can see, my face, I'm gonna go take a shower now because uh, it is very warm in here, but some great scrappable items for sure. A full breakdown video on the circular saw. So go check that out. Again, free silver in all of these. Your lithium power, power um, uh, batteries, unfortunately, no monetary value, but we wanna make sure we keep them out of the, the landfill. So again, thank you for watching. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.